Hello friends, welcome again. Today in this video, I am going to share something about bacteriophage life cycle. So, uh, you all must be familiar with the term bacteriophage. Bacteriophage is a viral particle which feeds upon the bacteria. So, it basically uh, feeds upon the bacteria. That's why it is known as bacteriophage. And uh, it uh, completes its life cycle uh, with uh, two methods. One is lytic cycle and second one is lysogenic cycle. So, I am going to share about lytic, lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle in this video so firstly what is lytic cycle and what is lysogenic cycle so lytic cycle is also known as virulent phase uh, virulent um, phases because in this lytic cycle bacteriophage feed upon the bacteria and lies the cycle lies the uh, cell of bacteria so it is known as lytic cycle but in the lysogenic cycle there is no lysis of the bacterial cell only uh, the multiplication uh, multiplication of the bacteriophages is uh, done in the lysogenic life cycle that's why it is known as lysogenic because there is no lysis of bacteria so firstly i'm going to tell about uh, uh, lytic cycle so in this video in this diagram you can see here this is the lytic cycle and this is lysogenic life cycle of bacteriophage firstly i am going to talk about lytic cycle so in this lytic cycle you can see here this is a bacterial cell bacterial cell with bacterial chromosome so um, here this is a bacteriophage which is which feeds upon the bacteria that's why it is known as bacteriophage it has double stranded dna in it so firstly uh, there are some steps by the uh, there are some steps of the lytic cycle this is first step in which ba bacteriophage gets attached to the surface of the bacterial cell so on the bacterial cell there are many receptors and at specific receptors these bacteriophage gets attached so after attaching the uh, after attaching over the surface of bacterial cell bacteriophage injects its own dna or its own um, its own uh, nuclear its own uh, nucleic acid inside the bacterial cell so you can see here this is a double stranded dna of bacteriophage and this is a t2 uh, life cycle t2 bacteriophage lytic cycle because uh, lytic cycle is um, is uh, done by the uh, by the bacteriophage that is t bacteriophage so in this in this life cycle in the first step bacteriophage gets gets attached to the bacterial cell and injects its own dna here you can see this is the pink this pink color represents the bacterial dna which gets injected inside the bacterial cell in the second step uh, bacteria bacteriophage dna circularize the uh, circular circularize um, itself inside the bacterial cell so this is bacterial chromosome and this is bacteriophage chromosomes bacteriophage dna and gets circularized inside the host cell now in the third step what happened in the third step um, bacteriophage dna takes machinery of the host cells and makes its own uh, protein its own enzyme and uh, with the help of these proteins it makes its protein coat so um, in this step in the third step bacteriophage multiply itself and makes many copy of um, bacteriophages so these bacteriophages at this time is known as virion because these are infectious particle and that's why it is known as bacteria uh, it is known as virion and virion have their own dna and have own protein coat and this protein coat uh, made up with the help of bacterial machinery bacterial enzyme bacterial proteins so now many uh, virion particles are um, formed inside the bacterial cell and these particles in the next step cell lysis that's why it is known as lytic cycle because here bacteriophage lyses the bacterial cell and release themselves from the bacterial cell so here you can see these are the virion particle which are infectious particle have their own dna and encapsulated inside the protein coat and these are released from the bacterial cell that's why it is known as lytic cycle because it uh, breaks the bacterial cell 
नाउ दीज आर न्यूली फॉर्म्ड इन्फेक्शियस पार्टिकल नॉन एज वायरियन एंड बैक्टीरियो फासिस सो दिस वॉज द लाइटिक साइकिल सो दीज बैक्टीरियो फाजिस हैव टू फेट इट कैन इधर गोज इन साइड द लाइटिक साइकिल और इट कैन गोज इन साइड द लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल सो दिस इज लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल वट हैपन इन द लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल सो हेयर यू कैन सी इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप लाइसो इन द लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल फर्स्टली बैक्टीरियो फाज गेट्स अटैच टू द पर्टिकुलर रिसेप्टर्स ओवर द बैक्टीरियल सेल दिस इज बैक्टीरियल क्रोमोजोम एंड दिस इज बैक्टीरियो फास्ट क्रोमोजोम बैक्टीरियो फास्ट क्रोमोजोम गेट्स इंजर्टेड इन साइड द बैक्टीरियल सेल एंड देन इट गोज अगेन इन फॉर द इट कैन ईदर गो फॉर द लाइटिक साइकिल एंड इट कैन गो फॉर द लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल सो हेयर इन द लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल बैक्टीरियो फास्ट क्रोमोजोम गेट्स सर्कुलराइज हेयर एंड दिस इज बैक्टीरियल क्रोमोजोम एंड दिस इज बैक्टीरियो फास्ट डी एन ई एंड नाउ आफ्टर द सर्कुलराइजेशन it can go either lytic cycle or it can uh, move for the lysogenic cycle so here in what happened in the lysogenic cycle here in the bacterial cell these bacteriophage dna gets inserted themselves gets inserted inside the bacterial chromosome here you can see this is the bacterial dna and this is bacteriophage dna pink color represent the bacteriophage dna which gets inserted inside the bacterial chromosome at this stage this uh, this uh, whole bacterial cell is known as uh, this, this chromosomal dna is known as prophase so this is termed as prophase now bacterial uh, bacteriophage get dna gets inserted inside the bacterial dna and move further so here uh, bacterial cells gets divided normally and bacterial chromosome uh, which is prophase again gets multiply or gets divided normally and bacteriophage uh, dna gets remain inserted inside the bacterial chromosome there occur many cell division and many multiple copies are formed inside the uh, bacterial cell but this is not harmful that is why it is known as temperate phase of the temperate phase so it is the multiplication of bacteriophage in which there is no harm to the cell of the bacteria that's why it is known as lysogenic cycle and many lysogenic bacteriophage are formed in formed by this method and after the uh, after the formation of many uh, for, formation of many uh, lysogenic phage it can goes inside it can um, it can go further in which in which uh, bacteriophage dna gets an induction and after the induction it gets excised from the uh, bacterial chromosome so it is bacteriophage chromosome and it is bacterial chromosome so bacteriophage chromosome gets excised from the bacterio uh, gets excised from the bacterial chromosome and after the release uh, after the release uh, from the bacterial chromosome it can again goes for the lytic cycle and many virion particle again formed and many uh, viral virion particle again released from the cell and many copies are formed of the bacteriophage so this is the life cycle of bacteriophage in which there is no harm to the host cell but in the lytic cycle there is harm to the um, harm to the viral harm to the bacterial cell that's why it is known as virulent phase and um, in lysogenic cycle there is no harm that's why it is known as a temperate phase after gets induction um lysogenic cycle after gets induction lysogenic phase gets converted into into the lytic phase or lytic cycle uh, started so this was a whole about the uh, lytic cycle and lysogenic cycle uh, of the bacteriophage by this method uh, bacteriophage multiply and form many new particle or new infectious particle which again gets infected which again um, infects many another bacteria and continue their life cycle so this was the thing uh, this was the this was the process related to life cycle of bacteriophage i hope this video uh, will help you this will be important for be, for you um, and uh, again thank you friends